Unlike in South Africa, many other African countries are currently experiencing an alarming decline in their wild lion populations. Against this background, the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority has embarked on a large predator survey in the Zambezi National Park. It's a large predator survey uh, whereby we doing surveys on five predators that we are referring to as large which includes the African lion, the spotted hyena, the leopard, cheetah, and the wild dog. From our surveys so far, I would estimate at most six lions within this park that are resident, and uh, yeah, at least 150 hyenas within the whole park. The presence of a lot of hyenas has a huge negative impact on mostly lion populations. Uh, you might know of the basic uh, you know, one lioness can stand three hyenas. So with such a ratio that we've got, it exceeds that ratio, you know, way much. So in the event that lions do make their successful kills, these hyenas will be there to steal them. So these lions will obviously not be able to survive in the presence of so many hyenas. The South African Predator Association, representing the lion industry in South Africa, is a key role player in the conservation of wild lions in Southern Africa. When Sampa took note of the Zimbabwean conservation project aimed at investigating the interaction between hyenas and wild lions in the Zambezi National Park, the association decided to become involved and assist the survey in a practical manner. When we heard about that, we offered our assistance with regard to the uh, acquiring of uh, collars to monitor the movement of both species. The President and the Chief Executive Officer of SAPA, accompanied by a delegation of Zimbabwean conservationists, visited the Zambezi National Park on 22 February 2016. Here they met with officials from the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority involved in the predator survey. After being briefed on the nature and scope of the survey, the President of SAPA explained the role of the association to officials of the Parks and Wildlife Management Authority and elaborated on how the lion industry is being managed in South Africa. Thereafter, he handed over three GPS collars to the value of 120,000 Rand on behalf of SAPA to the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority. This donation was funded by the Sapa Conservation Fund, which was established to contribute directly to the conservation of lions in the wild. These collars, uh, they are not just ordinary collars, but GPS or satellite collars that are able to give us the precise location of uh, particular individuals of uh, the populations we've got in the park. These three collars are going to be used on a spotted hyena, leopard and a lion, uh, and they are going to be able to help us know where they go, uh, their home ranges, where they spend their time, uh, which also help us know the interaction that takes place within or among this particular species. SAPA is enthusiastic about the conservation of, of species, especially predators, within the natural distribution area. Through the support of research projects, SAPA can ensure responsible and sustainable resource management. Later that evening, the Samba delegation accompanied officials in an effort to put the donated collars to good use. We have been taken out into the remote areas of the National Park to see whether uh, a carnivore has been trapped. But unfortunately, we came to find nothing and we are now setting again the trap with, with bait. We hope that uh, we could find an animal inside that is suitable for research to fit one of, of the collars, but unfortunately it didn't happen and we will have to wait for the next night. Despite the failed attempt to collar a predator that night, there's no doubt that Sapa's donation of these collars will contribute significantly towards the success of the survey. We are glad that we could 
support uh, the conservation of the African lion in this way. It is a small contribution, but we hope that it is going to make a big difference for the lion in Zimbabwe. This is one of several projects that SAPA implements in conjunction with conservation authorities in a number of southern African countries.